Welcome back guys. So today we're going to be taking a look at Mario Kart Live Home Circuit for the Nintendo Switch. I wound up picking up both sets, the Luigi set and the Mario set. These are pretty expensive, $100 each, and they do not come with a physical cartridge for the game. You have to download the game off of the Nintendo Switch eShop. It's free for anyone, but in order to actually play the game, you have to have one of these RC cars. So my main concern when they started advertising this game and promoting it was every video I saw, they were using these on like hardwood floor, you know, smooth surfaces. In our house, we currently have carpeted floors. And from my experience in the past with like cheaper RC cars, you know, kids toys on carpeted floors, they don't always work very well. So that was one concern I had. And today in this video, I wanna give you guys my thoughts and impressions on this thing because my kids were extremely excited. I started getting excited and we got this thing all set up. So in the box, you do get your cart, your RC car, and the leftover Nintendo Labo, Labia, Lab, Labo, Labo, whatever it's called, uh, cardboard gates. I'm sure they recycled all the unsold Labos and remade these gates. They seem fine. I mean, you gotta put them together in the sense that you just fold them out and pop the corners together on the sides, like kind of just clips in there. They seem sturdy enough. Eventually, I would imagine with extended use, tearing these things down over and over again, you may have to replace them or reinforce them. I don't know. I mean, how else would they do it? It's cardboard. Nintendo likes their cardboard. So, hey, it is what it is. Now, they tell you charge up these carts. So we charged them up, got them ready to go, downloaded the game, and got everything set up. So when you initially get this set up, it's pretty easy to sync the car to the actual Nintendo Switch. It'll tell you to point the camera from the RC car at the screen at a QR code. And then it just like syncs up. At first there was like a firmware update that we had to do. And that took like a minute. And then we just got straight into it. So when you first start playing, it's kind of a tutorial and whatnot and how everything goes. And then you could set up a course and start playing. You unlock a bunch of different things, different costumes, different outfits, whatever, different cars, different horns, that kind of thing. There's a lot of customization here, including customizing the way the gates look in the game. And I thought that was really interesting. There's a lot more to this than I initially anticipated. You know, you set up your track. I mean, you gotta have a little bit of space here. I probably would have set this up differently, but I just wanted to get going and start playing and messing around with this. But once you get in the game, there's just so many weird things going on when you actually start getting into the different circuits. It reverses courses, which I'm like, when that first happened to me, it threw me off like crazy. I, I was like, what the heck's going on here? The course just reversed on my screen. I'm like, this is not reality. What the hell's going on here? But then everything reacts properly as far as your controls, but it still kind of threw me off a bit. And you'll have different effects on the screen depending upon which course you're in, which circuit you're in, that kind of thing. And I thought that was really neat, all the different effects going on. You could get boosts and your car actually goes faster. If you hit stuff, you'll get a little bump in the game and it'll show that. Uh, you know, other cars hitting you. If you hit something that's in your house while you're playing this, you know, obviously the car is going to stop, but that's affecting within the game what you see on the screen. You know, he's spinning out or kind of crashing and whatnot, drifting around corners. It's a really cool augmented reality experience here. And I just was blown away by it. It works on my carpeted floors. Yes, these cars move fairly slow to begin with, but I feel like the game is smart in a sense that it knows what's going on and adjusts to that. At least that's what I'm thinking because when I'm playing this on the screen and my kids were playing, it, it just seemed like you're playing a legit Mario Kart game. It didn't really seem slow, but then when you look down into the real world and you see the carts moving on the ground, you're like, these aren't moving very fast. I mean, I, I have like legit RC cars, Traxxas and Low-C RC cars and whatnot. So we're, we're accustomed to using some you know decent quality RC cars out on a track. So using these indoors on the carpeted floor, seeing how slow they go, it's, it's pretty apparent. But like I said, it's not noticeable when you're playing the game. It just seems strange, like it adjusts something with that because it feels like it's moving faster. You know, you have 50 CC, 100 CC, unlock the higher, uh, you know, CC courses as you progress. 
but it definitely seems faster when you hit those boosts, when you're in the higher CC engine classes and whatnot. I was definitely surprised. This is just nuts. Playing multiplayer, the biggest problem I had, like I said, I probably would set the track up differently. Uh, I did it just like my son was doing it as well. We kept accidentally hitting the gates. Now I know in like some videos I've seen and whatnot, they, they show to reinforce them, put like books or something on the corners of them to keep them still. But I didn't really want to go around buying, you know, not buying, but finding a bunch of weights to put on these things. I just wanted to set them up and go. And even with that, that little gripe, it's just kind of get good and you won't hit the damn gates. It was damn fun. I don't know what else to say. I am super happy I bought this set. My kids are, you know, talking about setting up tournaments, playing against each other, having the whole family involved. You can wind up getting up to four players to play this game together. Each person obviously has to have a cart. You could have a mix of Mario or Luigi. Uh, kind of weird having a bunch of Marios and Luigis out there. So I think with this possibly being a big success, especially for the holiday season, I do see this selling very well. I would anticipate that they'll make other characters later, maybe sell them separately or just, you know, I don't know. I don't even think they would do that. They would probably just sell more of these bundles because it doesn't come with the game or anything. It just comes with the track pieces. So that's why I'm kind of glad that I have two sets because I got one as a backup for the track pieces because you just need to have those four gates set up in order going through them. This, this was a lot of fun, my friends. This was a lot of fun. I mean, I do have children and they love stuff like this and it you know, actually boosts it up for me and makes me have even more fun than I thought I would. But if I didn't have kids, I think I would still kind of enjoy this. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of fun, really cool Nintendo doing these strange things. Not gonna be for everybody. I mean, let's be honest here. You gotta have the space. You know, if you have too much, I have too much stuff lying around right now um, where we recorded this, you know, with everything situated there. So there's a lot of obstacles and that could kind of help with the course design that you do. And it could kind of hinder it as well. So keep that stuff in mind. You definitely want to have a decent amount of space to play this. So that, I'm giving this thing two thumbs up. It's a blast with everything you could do, all the different, you know, customizations with the way the gates look, with the way the levels look. Really cool stuff. So, hey, really do appreciate you guys. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.